In today's episode, I'll be putting together one of our little patch knife kits. These are very simple. It's a great little starter project. Let's get started. So the kit is very simple. It only comes with uh, three different things. It's got a little sheet of instructions and suggestions. It has a pewter bolster and it has the knife blade that comes. It's already uh, pretty much pre-sharpened. Some people are definitely gonna wanna put more of an edge on it, but it's fairly usable right out of the box. And this is already uh, tempered, hardened, and it's ready to go. And this uh, little bolster should uh, fit on the knife blade so it makes, a very, makes it a very quick and easy little project. This uh, little knife blade has a nice long tang on it, so it's very flexible. You can, you can shorten this if you have problems with your handle, but right now it comes with a nice long tang on it. it is, um, this is a 1095 uh, spring steel. It's a carbon steel, so it will rust, but it holds an edge very, very well, and it's very, uh, a very sturdy uh, type of steel to use for this kind of knife. This little knife blade has a concave grind, so it does hold its edge very well. The kit does not include any materials for a handle. That's something you're going to find, but usually that's very simple. Here's a couple of quick examples. Uh, here's a piece of firewood. It's a piece of cherry. It will make a great handle if we split that out. Uh, here is a stick. It's a dead um, ash twig. It's got a lot of strength less left to it. Uh, and these will make an excellent handle. Uh, also, here's a piece of uh, hickory I split out earlier, and hickory makes a, another superb handle material. In fact, if you're gonna use any woods, make sure you use a nice hardwood. All these are great examples of hardwoods. Pine just won't cut it. And another great handle material is a piece of antler. If you can come up with an antler tip, these, again, an excellent handle material. We're in the back of the store here, our little workshop where Josh usually works. And I've got lots of modern tools here, but I also have some period tools. So we'll, so we'll be making uh, two knives up, one where we use the uh, sort of period tools or old fashioned tools, and one where we use totally modern tools. Let's start with the uh, antler handle. This, is, uh, this particular little tip is nice and straight. If you've got a tip that curves a lot, uh, you'll definitely wanna check and make sure that there's enough uh, straight here to not burst out the top wall uh, as we drill out. We're going to drill this out with a, a, a 3 16 inch uh, drill. That's just about perfect for this um, tang here. Looks like we could drill almost right up to the chuck and that will give us just a tiny bit of extra uh, pocket to drop this knife blade into the handle. Probably the most important tool here in the shop for this particular job is a nice vise, and it's gonna be uh, very difficult to do a project like this without a vise in your shop. I'm just gonna chuck this up in, and I've made sure that this particular tip is almost exactly the same size as our bolster, so we'll need to do very little finishing. And I've got a piece of uh, leather here to keep the uh, chucks from, from damaging. I'm going to basically eyeball this and, and try to drill it straight in. So let's get this uh, kind of started in the very center. Make sure you're going in nice and straight. Your uh, material will build up on your uh, drill, so you wanna make sure to take it in and out a few times. And I'm just gonna double check to make sure I got that deep enough. Yeah. So one of the things I noticed about our, um, our little tip here as it was in the vise, and uh, it's all drilled out now, and it didn't burst through the wall, uh, so that looks good. But looking down at especially the way that drill went in, I can kind of tell that uh, that's not perfectly, that face of it isn't perfectly flush or perpendicular to the hole. So I'm going to uh, take this back on a sander real quick and make sure that that is perpendicular and straight to the hole that I've just drilled. So I've done a real quick test fitting and uh, just, just holding it almost fits all the way in so it, it feels really good. We're going to epoxy this handle in. Too much friction and, and we'll just crack this open. Let's just do a quick test here. We want to make sure our, our uh, tip kind of points down. Yeah, and this, this will fit right on here. This has got enough grip on the uh, tang here that uh, the epoxy should grip 
uh, the tang very well. This is a five minute epoxy, so I can't wait too long after I've mixed it. But we're going to put the, uh, the epoxy on the tang and on the very face of the antler to hold the bolster tightly to it. And I'm gonna make sure the handle's pointing the right direction, it's pointing down. Looks good. So let's just let this set for five or 10 minutes and then we'll come back to it and uh, finish it up. As the glue on the antler knife sets, I'm gonna work on this other uh, knife. And this one I'm going to use a little bit more traditional techniques. Uh, I've got a piece of nice uh, stout hickory here and I'm gonna chop it down into the rough uh, diameter of our bolster. So you can use one of our tomahawks, but uh, you know the carpenter's ax that we sell on our website and in the catalog is really the perfect tool for this kind of job. It's got a little bit more weight to it and it's uh, beveled just for this kind of wood and it's super sharp and you really, when you're using it, you hold it up nice and tight up to the handle like this so you got a lot more control. So I've gotten it down most of the way uh, with the ax. There's still a little bit uh, more carving to do on this. Uh, once I get down to a, a smaller size, I'm gonna use my little carving knife to smooth this off and get it down to the final. If you've got a draw knife and a, uh, a, a draw knife bench, this would be, or a shaving horse, this would be very easy. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is nice and perpendicular. And we can use a little uh, gimlet that uh, this one's just the right size for this, another 3 16 inch uh, little tool. There we go. That'll make you appreciate an electric drill, let me tell you. This one, the uh, I drilled it just a little under size, um, and this should be able to take uh, just a press fit. So we can use a hammer, and we don't necessarily have to glue this one in. We can use our file and do the final cleanup right around here. We can either shave down the bolster or uh, shave down the wood, depending on which one is sticking out a little too much. Uh, depends on how you finish that up. Okay, that feels nice and smooth. Uh, this, this knife is basically ready for the final uh, coat of oil on the finish. Here's our uh, antler knife and the glue has set up I'm gonna uh, take this off on the sander and uh, just touch it up where the bolster meets the handle and uh, smooth that um, transition up. Now we just need a little bit of finish. Uh, the, the antler sanded up very nicely and you know the, a really good, very simple finish is our Townsend's Bowl finish. Uh, that would be excellent on this. I mean, we could stain the handle, um, but I think over time they'll get a natural patina to them. So I'm just gonna protect them with a little bit of this bowl finish. The bowl finish is also really good uh, as, a, uh, as a protectant for your blade, especially, you know, you're gonna put it away for the season. That'll keep your blade from rusting over the winter or even between uses. We'll probably let this, uh, this set up for an, a day or so and then come back with another uh, cloth and polish it up to its final finish. Well, there it is. Uh, you know, if you've made one of these kits or a similar one, and you have suggestions or maybe suggestions on the handles, uh, make sure to give us a comment in the, uh, in the comment section below. Also, uh, these knife blades uh, are available in our print catalog or on our website, so if you're interested, make sure to head over there. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to our channel, I wanna welcome you. Uh, you can subscribe by clicking the button right up here. Uh, also, check out our related videos. Thanks so much for watching.